Welcome to ICO. Our instructor in the ICO Group's training center will show you how to apply bitumen shingles in a simple and correct manner. Please refer to the attached manual for more detailed information. Safety is one matter that is not covered during this demonstration since requirements vary from one country to another. You should check this yourself. With the help of nine modules, we will give you an overview on how to do the job correctly. We always recommend installing an ICO underlayment. It flattens the surface and it's an extra protection against leakage. We start with the valley. The roof boarding must be flat, strong, dry and firmly affixed to the construction. Multiplex, OSB or planks are your best choice here. Install the underlayment as flat as possible and parallel to the eaves. It should overlap vertically by 10 centimeters. Snapping a chalk line is an ideal aid for ensuring you attain a straight line. The horizontal overlap should be 5 centimeters. The underlayment must be glued onto the drip edges with Ico shingle stick and we finish off the eaves with an eave profile. For the valley application, we use a high quality roll roofing in an appropriate color. We then nail down this layer with a nail every 40 centimeters. The visible part on top should be 16 centimeters wide, 8 centimeters left and 8 centimeters right of the center line. The part of the valley that is visible afterwards is wider underneath than on top. We have to do this because water tends to collect in the bottom section. The open center line should become two centimeters wider per meter valley. The length of the valley thus determines the width of the open strip in the bottom section. In this module, we'd like to show you how Ico armor glass shingles are applied. We shall attend to the other types later on. To ease the separation of the shingles, the bundles are bent before they're opened. Open the bundles using the back of a utility knife, but do not cut any part that will be visible later. Do not remove the anti-adhesive foil from the back. Its sole purpose is to make sure the shingles in the packaging do not stick to one another. Mix shingles from various bundles to avoid color blocks being visible once the roof is finished. This is important. We make the starter strip by cutting the tabs of the shingle. The resulting strip should hang roughly one centimeter over the eave. To ensure that the seams of the starter strip do not coincide with those of the first row of shingles, Half a tab is cut off the starter strip. Place the strip with its adhesive strip on the underside. After installation, the adhesive strip will seal down the shingles due to solar heat. We nail down the starter strip with the shingle as a reference so the heads of the nails will be covered later on. The starter strip is cut along the chalk line in the valley. To avoid water from the valley ending up under the shingles, we make a triangular cut at roughly 5 cm from the strip. We leave a nail-free zone of roughly 5 cm at the valley and glue it down Now we install the first row of shingles on the starter strip. The nails are positioned two and a half centimeters from the edge and two and a half centimeters above the cutout. Chalk lines, drawn both vertically as well as horizontally, 
are a useful visual aid to ensure the shingles follow a straight line. The starter strip and the shingles that join on the eave profile are once again glued with Ico shingle stick. Shingles should always be installed diagonally and thus are shortened by half a tab each time. A diagonal step flashing is created that guarantees rapid draining and strengthens the whole construction. We finish off with whole shingles. Use corrosion resistant nails with large heads about 25 millimeters in length. The number of nails is determined by the type of shingle, the slope of the roof and the wind force. Double nailing and additional gluing are only necessary in windy areas. As we can see, the underlayment is installed with the edges sticking up against the chimney. Shingles are fitted in tight against the chimney. The professionally manufactured step flashing is then placed from the bottom up alternately with the shingles. So first a shingle is applied flush with the chimney, then the first piece of zinc is placed on top of it, another shingle is placed on top of that followed by a second piece of zinc. This process is repeated until the chimney is completely covered. At the back of the chimney, you should make sure the shingle is placed on top of the zinc connection piece. Everything is then made watertight using counter flashing. The hip and ridge pieces are cut from the shingles and installed using a chalk line. They are then nailed down roughly two and a half centimeters under the adhesive strip and two and a half centimeters from the edge. You'll find everything you need in the bundle. We apply the shingles up to the ridge. Cut away the underlayment to about 15 centimeters from the ridge. On a real roof, the loose roof boarding is sawn open. Make sure that the ridge vent covers the nails of the last installed shingle row and fits in close on the visible part. Secure the vent with long corrosion resistant nails with large heads. The ridge pieces that will be installed on top of the vent are similarly fastened with long nails. Once again, we mix shingles from different bundles to avoid color blocks on the finished roof and make the starting strip by cutting off the tabs off the shingle.
diamond shingles should always be installed diagonally and thus are shortened each time by half a tab. A diagonal step flashing is created. The vent opening in the roof boarding is equal to the inside measurement of the vent cap. Position the vent cap so that it covers the last row of nails. Hit nails only in the openings that are covered by the shingles. Glue down the shingles using Ico shingle stick. Watch carefully how the hips and ridges are cut from the shingles and applied. Now we're going to make the starting strip by cutting the six tabs from the shingles. An ascending step flashing is used for the Victorian shingles. The step flashing jumps half a tab. Shingles should always be installed diagonally and thus are shortened by half a tab each time. A diagonal step flashing is created. Unlike the earlier types, the hips and ridges are not finished off with the same type of shingle, but with rectangular ones. Ico also has a solution for vertical walls self-adhesive shingles. Although we will use the Ico Armour Shield shingle for this, there are other types in our range. As always, we begin the starter strip by cutting off the visible parts. We snap a chalk line to make sure that the starting strip is perfectly horizontal. Half a tab is cut off from the shingle which is to be installed. Remove the foil before nailing. To ensure that the nails are covered afterwards, we use a shingle as reference. On vertical walls, this type is also nailed in the top corners. Here we also progress in an upwards diagonal direction and finish off the rows with whole shingles. It's important to mix from various bundles to obtain the best result, as goes for all types of shingles. Ico Shingles for all roofs and walls, your long-lasting and hard-wearing solution.